Hello, in this video will demonstrate how to do the replacement test for the fingerprint module. So first we need a device which got the issue with the fingerprint module and another fingerprint module with the sensor to replace. And also uh, the a small screwdriver. So first we need to disassemble the, the back case of the device. So remove this one, the small case. And then you need to uh, remove the two screws here and here. And after you remove the, <coughs> the and then open the back case. So now you can see the fingerprint module is down the device. So how to test for the fingerprint module uh, if it is doesn't work and no response. So first we need to learn, <coughs> we need to introduce the uh, which kind of hardware uh, relate to the fingerprint module. So first one is the cable which connect with the main board with the <coughs> fingerprint module. So the cable is this one, the, the narrow yellow one so this one is the cable connect with main board with the small board of the fingerprint module so this cable if it is this con uh, is loose connection so it will cause the fingerprint module not work because this cable will power on the small board and also transfer the uh, data through this board to the main board so first we need to check is that this cable, the two sides, is well connected. So how to see it is well connected? So when the device is open and then run our demo app, so after the app is running and uh, uh, assess the fingerprint capture interface and then this uh, main board will powered on the fingerprint module. So after the small board is powered, so here is the LED light, right, red LED light will be light on. So here you can see, let's see close, this one, the small component is the LED light. So if it is powered on and the, the light is light on, so which means this cable is well connected the two sides. So there's no need to confirm this cable. There's no issue with this cable. So we can, uh, without consider this, this part. And the second part of the fingerprint module is this small board. Uh, there's also a cable. You can see here, the connection connector here. Here is a cable which Let's remove, here it has the three screws. You need to remove these three screws, and then this cable can be movable. And after this, you can see there's a cable which connect with the small board with the, with the sensor, which is like here. So to check it, you need to make sure these two connect this these two connector is well connected so after ensure these two cables so we can uh, check with the demo app to see if the fingerprint is or is works or not if still not work so we need to find the specific problem well it caused the fingerprint module not response So to check the specific uh, issue caused the fingerprint module not response. So first we need to check this cable. So this yellow cable, if the, uh, we need to replace it first. So <coughs> we can use another device which is work well. The fingerprint works. So we can get the, the cable, the same cable and uh, take it 
to replace this one and make sure these two connector is well connected and then to see this small board is can be powered on or not if it can be powered on but this original cable cannot power on so the problem will be this cable this cable is uh, will cause is the issue problem to cause the fingerprint not work so if uh, both can light on the 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 small box so now we move to the second stage so to check the if the issue is caused by the small board. So how to check it, we can uh, replace the, the small board with the whole sensor. Like we disconnect cable here, let's remove this tab. So you can see a connector here. Just lift it up to remove it. Lift it up and remove this cable. And you can get the board. So now we as the the the, the remain part still not work. So we need to replace this with the new one which can work. So just connect back to this this cable and see if this sensor can work. So now we can if this sensor can work, if this cannot, so we can uh, substitute the, the, the problem with the small board and the sensor. So now we do the further steps to check uh, either the small board is, is broken or the sensor is broken. So now uh, for check it, we can remove the, sm the small board only with the work one. So we just remove this cable, like lift it this up, lift it up and uh, remove the cable and uh, replace here. So after replace here, the fingerprint can work. So which means the small board is issued, has problem. So we can replace this. So if uh, both are work while well, like if we change the new one, for example, this one cannot work. If we change the can work one, we replace it. But the the sensor still not work. So the problem will be the sensor. So we need to remove the sensor with this. So that's the step to check one by one. So, so to conclude, first we need to check the cable this cable to replace a new one to see if it can work or not so second step we need to check the small board if we replace one uh, a well one so if it can work or not if not and then we still change the fingerprint sensor until it works so after these steps we can we can know well the issue is caused the problem so we can find the cable or find the component and replace it